Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is The Novelty Corner and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to recommend some books with one of my favourite tropes for heroes in books and that is the Golden Retriever Hero, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. If you think of a very loyal, very friendly, very lovable Golden Retriever dog, that's what these characters are. Like they're just awesome. And in a lot of ways I was trying to think about how, how to distinguish this from some of the other hero tropes. It's kind of like the sunshiny hero extreme, like the far end of this hero just being absolutely friendly, lovable, kind, loyal. Oftentimes they are very dirty talkers as well, which is great, but they're just honestly one of my favourite character types to read because you can tell that they just have so much love for their significant other in the stories. So the first golden retriever character that I'm going to talk about is Hercules from Learn My Lesson by Katie Robert. In Learn My Lesson, Hercules is a bit of a pawn of Hades who tries to manipulate Hercules into a situation that is going to best benefit Hades and inconvenience Zeus, who's part of the Dark Olympus world. But Hercules is just one of those characters who loves his people to death. And he is just determined to stand up for people to do what's right. He ends up getting caught in Hades' web because of everything that's going on, because he wants to help Meg. He doesn't fully understand the situation, he just dives headfirst into it and finds himself caught basically in what's going on. He very quickly becomes inextricably linked to both Meg and Hades and their relationship is amazing. But Hercules is just a, an adorable, adorable character. Another Why Choose story is Sticks and Stone by Grace McGinty and the character in this book that is the Golden Retriever type character is Rigby who is the friend of the other two male leads in this story. He plays on the, on the same hockey team as River and has really become inextricably linked with these three guys. And when Nova comes into their life and has just recently adopted a child, they really seek to make her feel comfortable and welcome. But it's Rigby who is sort of this softer side because River and Devon both have these very rough edges. Rigby just is the peacemaker and he is determined to make sure that Nova feels safe in their house and that the others don't go too far in pushing her away. Like he's just an adorable, friendly, lovable character. I really could not have this list without Jake from That One Night and Pucking Around by Emily Rath. He is like the absolute epitome of the Golden Retriever hero. He is fun-loving, loyal, adorable. He occasionally does things that probably require a little bit more thought but all he's thinking about are his people. At the very beginning of the book his relationship with Caleb who is his best friend is best described as domestic life partners because they always do things together and Jake doesn't see anything wrong with this. At this point he hasn't thought of anything sexual between the two of them. He just knows that Caleb is his person and he wants to spend time with him and that is where his head is. And of course he's also just head over heels in love with Rachel and his dynamic is probably what makes a lot of this book work because he is determined to make everything work because he sees the good in people and he sees the positives in the relationship and he's just willing and up for trying anything because he wants everyone around him to feel loved and involved and all of that stuff. Like I have no more words to describe how much I love Jake. He is just one of those characters that stands out in my mind. There is Carter from Consider Me by Becca Mack. This is a book I think I mentioned in my most recent books beside my bed video. I don't remember a lot of the plot of this book. Like in that regard the story is you know just an okay story but I remember Carter because he is a reformed playboy hockey player who once he sees his person just realizes that he can't do what he has always been doing. He has to change himself and he bends over backwards to do that. He is absolutely devoted to his partner and the whole thing is just really lovely to see because you see that growth in him through the story and in fact that is the biggest highlight of that book for me and I wasn't expecting it but man I was here for it. There is Nathan from Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. This is a story set during college and Nathan is a hockey player, Anastasia is a figure skater and when a situation causes the hockey team and the figure skating team to have to share a rink they're forced to sort of spend time together and she is very cranky because hockey players using the ice is messing with her schedule but he just falls for Stacy so quickly and is determined to prove to her that he is not the person that she thinks he is and that he's actually a great guy and he really is like he again was a standout in this book for me because he just bent over backwards to try and prove to her that he is interested in her it's not a it's not a one-night stand kind of thing he wants to 
get to know her and to build a relationship to the point of giving up their relationship to help her with her figure skating career. And I wasn't expecting to enjoy this book as much. There are certainly things in here that I didn't enjoy necessarily, but Nathan and his relationship and the way that he goes in pursuit of Stacey was definitely one of the things that I absolutely adored. There is Arby in Madman by Only James. This is an MM Dark Romance series about a family of psychopaths. Arby is one half of a set of twins and he is even described in the book as basically being a golden retriever. He is just this very loyal, very eager to please character. He's kind of the opposite of his twin brother who is very dark and broody. Arvi has just been in love with Felix from the moment that he met him and he loves to play with him but he also is incredibly loyal to him and very fiercely protective of Felix. And for all of the things that Arvi does, and some of them are very, very questionable, you just, you can't help but love him as a character. And I should say in this one, like Arvi isn't a pushover. He's very cocky. He's very overbearing. He's very possessive, but you can tell that that's because he knows Felix is his person. And I just, I loved it. I suppose if we want to go for a monster romance, and it's been a little while since I read it, so I'm a little bit hazy on the specific details, but I remember feel it, having this feeling for this character when I read it. Orpheus in A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain is also one of those characters because despite being very monstrous and despite Rhea being kidnapped by him and taken to his realm and he's trying to keep her there, a lot of their, their initial relationship is, is based on miscommunication. She doesn't really understand him, but he's unwaveringly enamored by her and he tries to keep her safe and he tries to impress her and just keep her with him and it's actually very sweet. You wouldn't expect that from this book but Orpheus is a very sweet character. And then finally another book which it took me a little while to realize that this was the trait of the hero in this book mostly because this is a single POV story so we don't actually get the hero's perspective is Sweep of the Blade by Lona Andrews and the hero in this book is Arland who we have met in previous books and it makes more sense for his character to understand exactly how he behaves in this book by reading the previous books in the Innkeeper Chronicles series but this is specifically his story and he in the previous book had started to fall for Maud who is a single mum who is the sister of the heroine from the main Innkeeper Chronicles stories and he's convinced Maud to come home with him to his planet and she is reluctant to marry him so she's turned down a marriage proposal but he wants her with him and he wants the chance to prove that she is it for him and that his family will see that about her and of course there are a lot of other things that go on this book it is a fantastic book all on its own but his unwavering devotion to her the fact that he just wants to please Maud and and he treats Maud's daughter like his own and it's just a really gorgeous relationship and he is a big part of that because his character is just so friendly and trusting and welcoming to Maud who is very standoffish and very concerned that getting involved with another vampire is going to ruin her. And he just keeps trying to prove to her that that's not the case and that he's not her ex-husband and that he only has her and Helen at the forefront of his mind. And I loved it. So those are some of my favorite golden retriever heroes from recent reads. I'm sure I'll have to go back and think about ones from previous books as well. But in the comments, I would love to know if you have a favorite golden retriever hero in a book, feel free to leave some recommendations down below. Otherwise, feel free to leave a dog emoji in the comments to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.